So, do tayo sa join C. So, at join C. Ito yung ating uh, C. So, meron tayong applied load na 3 kN. So, ito yung uh, BC and PD. So, this is 75 degrees and this is 52.5 degrees. Okay? So, yung ating uh, AC is tension na 16.4942. Okay, At yung ating BC is equals to 3.996 Okay, 3.966 3.966 na compression Okay, so ang unknown natin is CD and CE So sabihin natin ang CD Is papalayo So tension, CD Ang atin namang CE Is also papalayo Or tension Okay, so ngayon Ang unknown natin na horizontal reaction Is dalawa, the horizontal Component of CD And the horizontal CE so, dalawa ano nun. Mahirapan tayo dun. So, doon tayo sa mas madali. Uh, doon na lang sa isang reaction na vertical. The vertical component of CD. So, mas madali. By summation of forces, vertical. Okay? So, uh, summation of forces, vertical is equal to zero. Upward is positive. So, CD, sine of 75 degrees minus 3 kN minus 3.966 sine of 52.5 degrees is equal to 0. Therefore, ang CD is equal to 6.363 kN. So, since positive to, tension ang CD. Okay? Next, by summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0, to the right is positive. Positive CE plus CD which is 6.6 363 cosine of 75 degrees plus 3.966 cosine of 52.5 degrees minus 16.942 is equals to 0. Therefore, ang C in natin is equals to 12.881 kilo newton. At since positive yan, tama yung assumption natin, ang C E is tension. Okay? So, nasa inyo kung gusto nyo pa siyang isolve by uh, rotation of axis. Okay? So, meron na tayong CDN. Okay? So, pwede tayo mag-proceed sa D. So, at join D. So, ito yung join D natin. So, this is 10 kilo newton. And this is joint D. So, Ito is 75 degrees to rin, 75 degrees Ito naman, 37.5 degrees to rin, 37.5 degrees So yung ating force BD So 18.311 At yung ating uh, CD is tension So this is 6.363 tension. So, kung napapansin ninyo, yung ating uh, mga forces, okay, meron pa tayong unknown dito. Sa bending ito ay uh, tension din. This is D, E, and ito naman, compression, this is D, F. So, kung napapansin ninyo, yung forces natin is may pare-parehas na angles. So, ito 75, 75. Ito 37.5, 37.5. So, madali sa ito, equal ang DE sa 6.363 and equal ang DF sa 18.311. Para sa madali sa ito, makita natin na ang ating structure is symmetrical. Therefore, kung ano makukuha natin na forces dito, ganun din dito sa kabila. Okay? Pero syempre, mas maganda, i-prove natin siya gamit ang solution. So, dalawa ang unknown na vertical reaction, the vertical component of DE and DF, and dalawa rin yung horizontal reaction na Horizontal component ng DF and DE. So, doon tayo sa summation of forces, vertical is equal to zero. Upward is positive. So, negative DE multiplied by sine of 75 degrees plus DF sine of 
37.5 degrees minus 6.363 sine of 75 degrees plus 18.311 sine of 37.5 degrees is equal to 0. Therefore, DE sine of 75 degrees plus TF sine of 37. Ah, okay, sorry, meron pa dito. So, meron pa tayo ditong uh, negative 10 is equal to 0. So, it is 10 kN. Sine of 37.5 degrees is equal to Okay, is equal to 5.0. So, ito yung ating equation number 1. Next, by summation of forces horizontal. The summation of forces horizontal is equal to 0. To the right is positive. So, positive DE, okay, cosine of 75 degrees minus TF cosine of 37.5 degrees minus 6.363 cosine of 75 degrees plus 18.311 cosine of 37.5 degrees is equal to 0. Okay? So, ngayon, i-simplify natin to. DE cosine of 75 degrees minus DF cosine of 37.5 degrees is equal to 12.88 Okay, so ito yung ating equation number 2 So ngayon, kapag sinimplify natin yung equation number 1 and equation number 2 ang masolve natin na DE is equals to 6.363 kN in tension and Df is equals to okay, uh, 18.311 kN in compression. Okay? So, anong ko naman na alam na ninyong mag-simplify. So, nasolve na natin ang okay, ang DE and Df. So, di natin kailangan pang isolve yung Fe, Eg, and Fg. Kasi alam natin na equal din doon sa uh, mga nakuha natin no? So, ganun yung uh, method of joints under trust analysis 